Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Funds Economics. This time we are going to have a short look into the RAIF, the so-called Fonds d'Investissement Alternatif Réservé, or just a Reserved Alternative Investment Fund. Ah, ami spectateur français, oui, en effet, je puis un peu votre langue. Alors, eh bien, maintenant, je suis capable de parler la langue de la classe supérieure de l'IA sans ça, content, juste une place et son tarif. Ça sent toujours incroyable. Mais laisse-moi confirmer avant que je parle à un nouveau trou. Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. What is an RAIF? So actually, besides 1,680, actually more than 1,680 are existing, well, um, in January 2024, since 2016. Why since 2016? Well, because the RAIF is in existence since 2016. The attentive, uh, well, viewer was seeing that at the very introduction slide because there was mentioned the law of the 23rd July 2016 on the reserved alternative investment fund. So, well, therefore, since 2016. All right, what is an RAIF? First of all, it is an investment vehicle, meaning it is a type of a UCI, so an undertaking for collective investments, meaning an investment fund. But a uh, one of the various types of investment funds. Therefore, this series is also called Types of Collective Investment Funds. All right. And what makes this investment fund, this vehicle, special? Well, to summarize it, the flexibility and adaptability. Why so? We will find out in a flash. So the legal forms, just to cover that up front, um, are the SICAF, so with variable capital and the SICAF, with not variable capital, but with fixed capital, then we do also have the option for the FCP, and then it is, of course, in a contractual form. Advantages, a little bit more specific than the flexibility and adaptability, well, it is a tax-efficient investment opportunity. And then it is not subject to investment restrictions. The incorporation time is quite fast with 14, well, approximately 14 days. And that is also due to that there is no regulatory approval applicable for this vehicle type. So from the CSSF, of course, as I mentioned, where do we find information about this very vehicle? Well, in the law of the 23rd July 2016 on reserved alternative investment funds. As I mentioned already prior, this whole thing has 19 pages and, uh, well, it is very law-like text, so therefore that you don't have to read that. This video here is existing, at least that's the purpose. First of all, it states that reserved alternative investment funds shall be any undertakings for collective investment. Um, yeah, for collective investment point uh, situated in Luxembourg, so UCIs. And then there are the specifics, of course. Well, of course, they need them to qualify as an alternative investment fund. And where do we know if something falls under the, well, or if something qualifies as an alternative investment fund? Well, in the AAFMD. Well, in the AAFMD is also defined in the law of the 12th July 2013 on alternative investment fund managers, which is not the approbation for AAFMD. Well, furthermore, important is that the RAIF is only open to well-informed investors. And, well, well-informed investor can mean a lot of things, um, but it is specified here, uh, well, as a professional, meaning who is included when someone talks about a professional investor, meaning also the high net worth individuals they are in. Well, uh, at least uh, within the Directive 2014-65 EU of the European Parliament and the Council. But all these things are not that necessary to know. I mean, these numbers. All right, what, what does it mean? It must be stated in writing, not um, verbally, that the investor adheres the status of a well-informed investor. So, for example, by a bank, they can give these certificates. Or, on the other hand, the threshold for the investment is 100,000 euros. This is actually quite new since the 21st July 2023, before it was to 125,000. Well, probably to attract some more investors, which don't want to put in the missing 25,000. All right. So, of course, otherwise it is an institutional investor. I mean, meant with the well-informed investor is an institutional investor. Reserve alternative investment funds shall be deemed to be situated in Luxembourg if the registered office of the management company of the common fund 
or the registered office of the investment company is situated in Luxembourg. So we see, we see already that here is mentioned the common fund. So common fund means FCP. That's one form. And um, the other form that I can say already is the SICAV and SICAV, but because I said it already in the intro, in the very first slide of this presentation. All right. Surely, um, the assets of a reserved alternative investment fund must be entrusted to a dep de depository for safekeeping appointed in accordance with the provisions of what, ladies and gentlemen? Where are these provisions stated? Well, in Article 19 of the Amanda Law of the 12th of July 2013 on alternative investment fund managers. Don't remember this kind of things. You never need it. Depository must be registered in Luxembourg or in another member state of the European Union if almost have a branch there, but I mean, this is kind of common sense. Common sense to common funds. All right, so far about the really basics, then what about the risk? Well, in terms of risk, first of all, it is to mention that the RAAF can invest actually into any asset, I mean, into all assets thereby, uh, comparable to a SICAR or a SIF. However, the RAIF offers actually more flexibility throughout the life cycle of the whole fund. For as I mentioned already before, there is no need for product approval by the CSSF, which uh, one should note that is the Luxembourg Supervisory Authority. And well, subsequent changes to documentation such as investment policies um, do not require approval as well. Of course, uh, it is applicable that they, they do have an annual report as well as an PRIIPS, so a KID in place, uh, well, which is similar to the prospectus. All right, it's a slim version of a prospectus. Also kind of an advantage is that the RAIF structures, however, uh, they can be converted into an SIF or SICAR through an appropriate approval process even after the establishment. So it is therefore also quite flexible. This is not possible with just every fund structure. In terms of risk, as I started to talk about it already, we do know that the RAF can invest into all assets and all asset classes and thereby, of course, accolade access to real asset investments. That is uh, quite nice. What are these real assets investments? Of course, yeah, well, um, real estate, in infrastructure, commodities, I mean, natural resources, all this kind of things. For example, in usage, this is not an option. I mean, for example, the natural resources. Forget it. You can't do that. So when real asset investments are high in demand, especially for institutional investors, it makes it way easier for asset managers to quickly offer their investment strategies. Well, I mean, when the corresponding market opportunities are given, of course. Okay. As I mentioned also in the very beginning, time to market is quite short. It's two months short. I mean, approximately. I mean, of course, after the structuring phase, which should not be just taking one day, but this is quite a benefit for this is super fast. So the administration in Lux requires approximately about two weeks for this process in comparison to Psychars. If this is two months faster and thereby it is quite a flexible uh, investment tool. All right. Regarding to the risk again, circular CSSF um, 07309 is applicable here. Well, in case you do know about the CSF circular, then you're good, but uh, I, I don't think so, because um, it's useless to remember these kind of things. Therefore, we do have the internet, but but it might be a good thing to know that it's, it's applicable actually for risk spreading for SIFs, but they are also applicable here for the RAIF. And well, they do say, you can find that in the SIF video probably, but they do say just the, 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 the most important things here, not more than 30% of the assets or commitments to subscribe and securities of the same type issued by the same issuer. And um, short sales may not in principle result in the SIF holding a short position in securities of the same type issued by the same issuer representing more than 30% of its assets. So it's actually the same just for short sales. <clears throat> in these regards. So Article 43, for example, states that uh, reserved alternative investment funds must have the accounting information given in their annual report audited by a reviseur des entreprises agréées. So these are regularly, well, um, people doing the accounting information and thereby, I mean, like checking if all the balances are all right. And that is usually an audit firm. Well, 
about tax provisions, we do have the very nice rate of 0.01%, which is the subscription tax uh, that is actually stated in Article 46. That's the rate of the annual subscription tax payable by the reserved alternative investment funds. Well, that is uh, kind of nice. Of course, there are exemptions which you do find actually in the 2007 law. There are, of course, exceptions applicable which do refer to the SIF law from 2007. Also good to mention is that, well, therefore, they are also called flexible, that the RAIF can be constituted with a multiple compartments, well, and each uh, compartment corresponding to a distinct part of the assets and liabilities of the Reserved Alternative Investment Fund, meaning we can have just an umbrella fund, which is also nice for operating flexible in the market with the RAIF vehicle structure. This you can find in Article 49. And now you may wonder, well, it is not regulated by the CSSF, so who is actually having a look? The RAF must appoint an AIFM, so an Alternative Investment Fund Manager, in both cases. So if it is a common fund or if it is a SICAV, in both cases it has to do so. It can, of course, also be self-managed, but if it is self-managed, then it is usually from, uh, well, an institution which does have everything already in place. Therefore, it then can manage itself. And thereby, there's, of course, an indirect supervision existing due to the AIFMD. And I think thereby we do have covered already everything that was necessary to understand this vehicle structure. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Like, subscribe, in case uh, all this was useful to you. <laughs> and it was useful to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, see you in the next video. Have a good one.